we have ourselves a box of uh, Duracell Ultra uh, 12 volt AGM batteries. Uh, we have eight of them. And the reason for this is because we're going to be replacing the batteries in this uh, APC um, 2200 Smart UPS. First thing is pop the cover off. It comes on snap just like that. So we have uh, one, two, and three. Remove the three screws, set them somewhere, and then you can replace the batteries uh, while this thing is hot and it will not shut down. So just unplug the harness that goes to the battery pack. Probably going to start beeping at me in a second. Maybe it is four screws. And then you just pull this battery pack out. Okay, so we have uh, two screws here, two screws here. And basically, we have eight batteries total. Four of them in series, four of them in series, and then the two banks of batteries in series are in parallel. Okay. So after uh, the four screws are removed, lift up on the top cover. Okay, so there are a few different ways you can do this. One is you can take each battery and then just replace it one at a time. If you wanna do it like that, if you wanna make sure that the uh, uh, wires line up. So obviously you just take this and then connect it right back uh, the way that it came off. I'm actually going to uh, remove all of the batteries so that way I can show you guys uh, exactly how the wiring lines up. Okay. You look at the positive terminal, it connects to this wire right here. And so we're gonna go like this. So we'll go, got the positive terminal right here. And that's going to connect to the negative on the next battery. And then we're just going to repeat this. So positive to negative. Positive to negative. So I'm taking the positive here, connecting it to the negative on this battery. And then taking this, which will connect to the negative on the last battery in this bank. All right, so like I said, so we have positive and then negative over here. All right, so we're gonna repeat this uh, for the last bank of four batteries. All right, there we go. So, uh, got the last battery connected. And then what we'll do is, uh, let's just really quick measure across these uh, terminals, the uh, multimeter. So we'll go from uh, this batteries. So we should see, uh, 48 volts or nominal 48 volts probably going to be a little bit above that at 52.7 volts and then let's check this one fifty two point seven volts all right so like I said it's 
pretty simple. Bank of batteries in series, bank of batteries in series, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. Same thing for both banks, and then both the positive on this side for both of these batteries, and then the negatives over here basically connect into these two. Um, so we have this bus bar with the, with the fuse on it. They both connect together. Uh, the two banks of batteries in series connect in parallel. So you're basically taking 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts for nominal 48 volts. So then when you take these and you put them in parallel, you've got your 48 volts and then you double the capacity. So these batteries are five amp hours. So you put them in parallel after being in series, you got your 48 volts and you've got 10 amp hours total. Last step, um, just the reverse of what you did to begin with. Put the cover back on. Slide it right back in. Plug it back in. This beeping should stop. And of course, don't forget to put your four screws in. All right, there we go, beeping stop. We're registering uh, full battery capacity, and then I'm going to perform a test by holding this button in right here on the top. All right, there we go. It's done. I'm not even gonna worry about putting the cover back on. <laughs> Oh my 